All right. Last move, last move. Throw in one more move, one more combo, one more dribbling skill move, one more thing. All right, and time. Bring it into the screen so that you can see and hear me. We're gonna learn the first trick for our combo. Now, if you don't know already, freestyle football is the art of expressing yourself with the ball, doing cool skills and tricks. This can be used just to show off to your friends, to compete in freestyle competitions. And if you're really, really, really good, you can do some of these moves in games, um, especially if you play futsal or street soccer, different moves like actas can be used in tight spaces. So if you master these, you can actually use them. Um, and otherwise you can become a freestyler like myself, travel around the world, meeting amazing people using the ball. Okay. The first trick we're going to do is called a flick up. A flick up is anytime you do a skill to get the ball up in the air. The flick up we're learning looks like this. Very easy flick up to learn, but make sure you follow all the steps so that you can see exactly what to do. Step one to do this pop up, I'm going to put my weak foot next to the ball. Okay. Step two, after I put my weak foot next to the ball, I'm going to use my strong foot to tap the ball sideways into my standing foot. One, two. So one, step next to the ball. Two, tap the ball into that foot. Step three, to get the ball up in the air, as the ball taps your standing foot, you're just going to pull that toe up in the air and sideways a little bit to launch the ball further. One more time, I'll try to do it slower. Step, tap, lift. So as soon as that ball makes contact with your standing foot, you want to lift that foot slightly up into the air. I do it on my weak side for you. And I'll do it one more time facing the other way so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, when I say go, you're on your own. I'm gonna watch you so that I can help you improve. Ready, set, go. We're gonna work on this for about a minute. Nice, Johan, you're almost there. Try to lift that foot up as soon as it makes contact. Close, Joey. So as soon as you hit that flick up, maybe do a touch or two and then reset to do that flick up again. That way I can make sure that everyone has the flick up so that we can move on. Nice, Caden, almost there. Close, Nate. All right, this is really helpful, guys. Keep working on that flick up. This is giving me some, uh, some advice that I'm gonna be able to give you in a second. Keep trying, keep trying. I'm seeing a couple things that a lot of you are doing that we're gonna correct in about 10 seconds. All right, so tears, let me see you. Go ahead, give me one try. Give me one try so I can help you out. All right, and time, bring it back in. We're gonna do a pro tip on this and we're gonna do an alternate version that'll be easier. Come on into the screen so you can see. So one more time, that flick up looks like this. Plant, tap, lift. A lot of us are doing these two things that are making it more difficult. I've seen a lot of people try to roll the ball across. So you're using your foot to roll the ball into your other foot, which is another flick up that Ronaldinho used to do. That looks like this where your foot comes over it. You can do that flick up as well, but it's a bit different. The other thing that I see a lot of us doing is trying to lift this foot before the ball comes on top of it. So I want to make sure that as I tap this ball, it comes up on my foot. So that way when I lift my foot, the ball comes in the air. A lot of us look like we're tapping the ball and lifting our foot before the ball has got on top of it. If this was hard for you, we're going to do a stall to start the combo instead. A stall looks like this. So this is with both feet on the ground, this is easy to balance. 
a little bit harder to balance with one foot on the ground. We're going to use our hands to place the ball between our toe and our shin, pointing our toe up as high as we can and wedging the ball in our ankle. So on your own, I want you to do the stall so that we have a starting point that everyone can do. Ready, go. So again, the easy way is to place it on your foot with both heels on the ground, about shoulder width apart, pointing my toe up as high as I can towards my shin and wedging the ball between my toe and my shin. Once I have it stable, I take my hands off and stand up with both feet on the ground, make sure that I have good balance. Once I can do that for about five seconds, I want to shift my weight to my standing leg, and lift this foot off the ground without dropping the ball. Pro tip, make sure you're watching the ball at all times, so that way you can keep control. We're going to go for 30 more seconds. If this is easy for you, switch to the other foot. But if this is really easy for you, put on your opposite foot and try the same thing. We'll go for 30 more seconds. Yes, guys, so again, if it was easy for you as well, you can pull it off the ground with your foot, make it a little more difficult. If it's really easy to stall, you can work on moving the ball when it's on top of your foot. So I can go up and down. I can go around in circles. And this is gonna test to see how well you really have control of the ball on your foot. Last try. Nice, I see some of you moving that ball on your foot really well, that's awesome. All right, bring it back in. We're gonna move on to the next tr trick for our combo. So we did learn two uh, pickups so far. One is the pop-up off the opposite foot. One is the foot stall. Whichever one's more comfortable for you is the one that I want you to start the combo with at the end. The next trick is the around the world. The around the world looks like this. You can use either foot and you can go in either direction. So right foot in, right foot out, left foot in, left foot out. And whatever is the most comfortable for you. Now, we're not going to do it like that first. For everyone that struggles with the around the world, we're going to do it with the bounce. The bounce looks like this. That's in. And this is out. Key points for doing the around the world with the bounce. Step one, you're going to hold the ball in the opposite hand and lift the foot up that's going around. So if my right foot's going around, then my left hand. Step two. As I drop the ball, I'm going to bring my leg over the ball. Step three, after the ball bounces, I'm just going to kick it back to my hands to complete the around the world with the bounce. One, two, three. So on your own, whatever's most comfortable for you around the world, either with a bounce or without. Ready? Go. I'll do the first couple with you again in case you're struggling and want to see it done again. And you can go in either direction with either foot. Pro tips, if you're using the bounce, do not slam the ball and do not throw the ball up in the air. Just drop it from about chest high. If you're on grass and it's not bouncing that high, hold it a little higher. If you're doing the regular around the world, you can either do it continuously juggling, you can let it drop and then do a touch in the air, or you can stall it on your foot, let it go, and go around the ball. I'm going to take the next minute to watch everyone to see our around the worlds and how we're doing. Good, Sam. Francisco, let's see it. There you go. Nice bounce. Good job. Yeah, it looks like we got dad in the house too. Love that. Nice. So if you are doing an around the world without the bounce, try to limit how much juggling you're doing. That way you can get more repetitions on the around the world. So if you're struggling to set up that around the world with juggles, just drop it for a bounce first and then hit the around the world in the air.
You saying nice around the world outside. Good, Sydney. All right, last 20 seconds here. One more pro tip. You can also start the around the world in the air. Let it bounce in between. So I should be juggling and I can touch the ball first, let it bounce, and then finish my touch after the bounce. That'll give me more time to get around the ball as well. Last try on the around the world. Last try, get one more in, one more attempt. Nice. If you are inside, make sure you're being careful in your space, don't break anything. Good, Sam. Pro tip, instead of slamming the ball down, just drop the ball from your waist. That way you'll have extra time to get around the ball. All right, bring it on in. Bring it into the screen so that you can see and hear the next trick in our combo. All right, so we've done a pickup and we've done around the world. Now we need to learn the knee catch. This is an easy, fun trick that everyone's going to be able to get. The knee catch looks like this. Okay, straight out of the juggle. This is called a block. Blocking moves are when you have the ball between your legs. So a block would be here, between my legs, either way. To do the knee catch, we're going to work on dropping the ball from about waist height and catching it between our knees. So step one, drop the ball. Step two, as the ball is dropping, I'm going to take a step with my weak foot towards the ball so that the ball goes to the same height as my knee. One, two. Okay? One, two. I'm not jumping and I'm not trying to grab it with both knees at the same time. All I'm doing is dropping the ball and taking a step forward with my opposite leg. To finish step three, we're going to bring our strong leg across and grab the ball to squeeze it. One, two, three. Okay. Drop, step, catch. Ready, set, go on your own. I'm going to watch you guys work on the knee catch. Nice, Oliver's got it. Good. Remember, we're not trying to bring both feet together at the same time. We're trying to step and then catch. Pro tip, drop the ball just in front of your body, not away from you like this. So if I drop the ball here, it'll be right in front of me. If I drop the ball here, I'm going to have to step really far and that's going to mess me up. Keep working on it. I'm watching you guys right now. I see a lot of us. Joshua got it. Ash got it. Good job. Good. So if this is easy for you, I want you to work on doing this from a juggle with a bounce. So if that was easy, juggle it a couple times and then time your step and catch. That's really easy. Try to go straight from a juggle to a knee catch. Straight from the juggle is a little bit different because we can tap the ball towards us. And now really all I have to do is just open one leg and close one leg to control the ball. Keep working on the knee catch. I'm watching you guys now. Shauna, let me see what you got. Nice, Shauna, pro tip. Okay, instead of bouncing the ball like this, I want you to just drop the ball by releasing it. That way the ball's not going as fast. It's going to be easier to time your steps. That's better. Again, just let go of that ball. Yes, see? There you go. That's coaching right there. All right, I see a lot of us trying to juggle and do it. That's awesome. Nice. I saw someone just do a slap around the world to knee catch. That's sick. Paduzzi. Great job. Francisco, nice catch. Good job. Gabrielle with the juggles. Let's see it, Jordan.
Remember, if something's too hard, go back to the beginning steps so that it's easy for you. So if you're trying to juggle and catch it and make mistakes, uh, take a step back. Pros know how to slow down and do step by step, okay? So if I'm doing something that's difficult for me, I'm gonna try to do the easiest version first and then work my way up. So if some of us are trying to juggle it and like catch it, take a step back, drop, step, catch. That way we have the trick on its own. Last try, last try on the knee catch. Nice. Good, I'm seeing a good mix of people getting it off the bounce, off a juggle. Great job. Bring it back in, we're moving on to the next trick. Here we go. All right, so the next trick in the combo is very simple. We're gonna start from the knees and we're gonna catch the ball between our ankles, okay? Very simple step. All we're gonna do to do this is stand on our standing leg. We're gonna let the ball go with the leg that's in the air. And after we let go, we're gonna bring that foot back in. So it's release, catch. Okay? Pro tips, don't try to jump here because you might land on the ball, okay? And after you let go of the ball, don't move this foot. So I just stand on one leg, release, and catch. My goal is to catch it directly between my ankles, not up between my toes or my feet, and not by my heels. Okay, so this is a foot catch from the knee catch on your own. We're only gonna work on this for one minute. Start with the ball between your knees so that I can make sure that everyone can do it. Ready, go. Again, start with the ball between your knees, drop and catch between the feet. And you want that ball to land and stay right between your ankles. Oliver, let me see you, let me see you, go ahead. So I uh, give it a try and I'll help you out. Nice catch, good, you got it perfect. That's exactly what I want, good job. Yes, Connor, perfect. So again, this is an easy move. We're only gonna spend 30 more seconds here. You're dropping it from the knees and catching it between the feet. Good job. Nice, good job, Renard. I'm seeing a lot of common issues that I'm gonna give you a pro tip for in case you're struggling. Okay, so if you are struggling, check out my screen real quick. I'm seeing a lot of people get stuck here with their feet coming together and up and the ball's like squirting out. That means that when I'm dropping the ball, it might be too far in front of my knees. So that way when I drop it, it's in front of my feet instead of between my ankles. To fix that, place the ball between your knees almost towards the back of your leg. Now I should be able to catch the ball between my ankles and this is going to give me the most control for my freestyle. The other thing I see again is people leaving this foot off the ground. So they're letting go and they're trying to move that standing leg. Again, just keep that leg directly on the ground as you drop the ball. To do this trick clean, you're supposed to catch the ball before it touches the floor. Okay? That is not touching the floor. If it does, no big deal, but that's just a pro tip. Last try on the foot catch. Last try on the foot catch. Good. Seeing a lot of people get it. Great job. Good, good, good. Remember, if it's squirting out from your feet and your feet are like going up like this, that means that the ball is too far in front of you. Put that ball back further between your knees. Nice job. And time. Let's bring it back in. We're moving on to the next step. This is going to be the hardest step in our combo, the hardest trick that we're learning today. The trick that we're learning is a next stall catch. So basically going from this position to the next stall catch. So we're going to break this up into three parts. Getting the ball out between our feet. The way that I did it in the combo looks like this. Then we're going to work on getting the ball up to our neck and catching it in the air. 
between using a stall or a juggle. Okay, so step one, getting the ball out of our feet using a simple slap move. Okay? So to do this, I'm going to use my strong foot to roll the ball up the side of my leg. Okay? So the ball just stays between my feet and I roll it up one side. Step two, as I get to the highest point, I'm going to release that ball. And I'm trying to bring my foot out in front and over the ball so that I don't make contact with it. Then the ball starts between my ankles, I roll up and release. Now, pro tip to move on to step three. As soon as you release the ball, you're going to take a pivot step with the opposite foot. So without the ball, as soon as I release here, I'm going to take a step like this, forward diagonal. That pivot step is going to put me in a position to control the ball when it's out here. I'm turning my hips to face the ball. So it's one, two, three. To finish the move, I just need to get my foot under that ball to control it. One, two, three, four. Okay. On your own, flick that ball up. We're going to go for a minute. I'm going to watch to help you out. Ready? Go. We're only starting the ball between our feet. So that way I can make sure that you're able to do the trick. And this way you get more repetitions. Nice, Connor. Good job. Good job, Tasuku. Good, Caden. Good. I'm seeing a lot of us get this one. Whichever leg you're using to stand on, that leg does not move until the third step. If you already are confident that you have this really easily, you can start adding other moves to that flick up. So you can start from the knees, then to the feet, then to this flick up. Gabrielle, nice job. Got that to the next stall. Nice, Christian. Good. That's what I want. All right. I've seen so many of us get this that we're going to go right away and move on to the next part of this move. So come closer so you can see again. The next part is the next stall. We're going to learn it without lifting the ball up by just using our hands first in case we don't know how to do it. Step one, I place my fingertips on the ball. Step two, I place the ball on the back of my neck. Then step three, I bend at the waist and put my elbows back. Pro tip, keep your chin up the whole time. If I put my chin down, the ball will roll off. Okay. Chin up creates a pocket that the ball will stay in. If you're really struggling and need help with the next ball, ask someone that's at your house or wherever you are to help you place it there while you get into position. I want to bend forward at the waist with a flat back, my elbows back, my chin up. If you're able to do this, I want you to spin in a circle without dropping the ball. Ready, go. So again, I want everyone to place it first and do that 360 before we move on. Good, good, good. Good, Caden, nice job. See most of us do this. Great stuff, guys. Good. Seeing everyone with the ball on their neck. Great job. All right. All right, love this, love this. Everyone with the next stall. All right, come on back in. Everyone got that really easily. Great job. Come on back in, we're moving on. Perfect. Hey, give yourselves a pat on the back. I saw everyone do the next stall really easily. That's really good. Now we're gonna learn how to catch it. Catching it is a little bit harder, so watch these steps. Step one, I'm gonna toss the ball so that it's directly in front of me at eye level. I just want to practice maintaining this height because that way I'm going to work on the timing that I'm going to use to get my head underneath the ball. Step two, as soon as the ball is getting to its highest points, I'm going to try to dump under the ball 
so that the ball is at the same height as my neck, and then get into that next ball position. Here. Pro tip, when that ball makes contact with your neck, continue going down at the waist and a little bit of a bend in the knee. This is kind of like touching an egg, but we don't want the egg to break. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not throwing it up here. I'm not juggling yet. I'm just tossing it face height, ducking under and catching it. Another way that you might be familiar with doing it is throwing it a little bit to the side and ducking under it. If you have a ponytail or a bun, this might be better so that it doesn't get in the way. Basically the same thing. I'm just tossing it a little bit to the side. I'm watching it the whole time. And instead of just ducking under, I'm ducking back. This makes it a little harder because the ball's going to want to go across your body. One, two, three. Ready? Next all catch. Let's go. Good job, Johan. Good, Sam. Good face height. <laughs> Good job. I'm seeing some of us get this. I'm seeing some of us struggle. Keep working. I'm going to give you a pro tip in one second. Nice. Good job. Good, Francisco. Good. You have it. Keep those shoulder blades back. Yeah. Create that pocket. There you go. Good one. Almost, Sydney. Almost. Good. All right. If you haven't landed the next all catch yet, make sure you watch the screen right now. Some of us are getting stuck here, which is really common. Right, the ball is hitting the back of our head or our back and bouncing away. To fix that, we need to go slower. So you might want to do this in slow-mo. So instead of letting go of the ball, you're going to hold on to the ball. Okay? So I'm going to mimic like I tossed it, but I'm going to keep my hands on it. And I'm just going to work on the timing of getting my head underneath the ball and positioning that ball on my neck. Okay? Pro tip, if you throw the ball up and you duck, it's just going to bounce off of you. Okay? It's not going to stay on my back because I've not timed the momentum. I'm not catching it like an egg. I'm catching it so that it breaks. So toss face height, duck under, and go down. I want to keep that ball really close to my head and neck. If you're struggling still, mimic the motion with slow-mo, until you place it on your neck. Ready? Go, 30 more seconds. Thirty more seconds. I'm watching you guys now. If you have this really easily, you can work on going to the next step, which is from an ankle stall or a juggle directly to the next stall. This is really hard, so you might not get it today, but it's something that you'll definitely want to learn as a freestyle. Pro tip: I want to practice throwing that ball with my foot or juggling that ball with my foot to that same eye level. Okay. This way I can keep consistent timing to get underneath the ball. 30 more seconds. So I see some of you guys are doing the raise your hand function because um, there's a lot of people in the chat. I'm just going to watch and try to help you all out the best that I can for now. Good, Sam. I like how you're taking a step back and placing it. Keep that chin up. Keep that chin up. If the ball rolls off, that means my chin is down. So keep that chin up as you place the ball. Good, Margarita. Good job. Good, you've been. You guys are working really hard. I love to see it. Nice guy, good way to take a step back. So you have the ball there, but it rolled off. That means that your chin was down. Try to do it again. Bend more at the waist, but keep your chin up, okay? Keep that chin up. All right, last try. Last try with the next stall catch. All right, and time, bring it in. We're moving on to the next step. 
So now we're going to go from the next stall catch, the next stall catch, or the next stall since everyone was able to place it there. And we're going to do a transition. A transition in freestyle is when you go from one category of move to another category of move. A next stall is an upper. Uppers are used with your head and neck and shoulders. Okay, so like head stall, side head stall, next stall, different catches and variations are called uppers. We're going to transition to sit downs, which means we're going to be sitting on the floor. It's going to look like this. You know, pros make mistakes. As soon as we finish that transition, we're going to get up and try it again. Okay? So I can start from the next stall here. Step one, I'm going to bend forward at the waist and I'm going to tilt my chin down. This is going to make the ball roll up the back of my head a little bit. Step one. And you'll notice if you just do that, the ball will roll forward and off your head. Step two, as the ball goes up the back of your head, you're going to come up at the waist and snap your head up quickly. Okay? One, two. The ball should go up in the air and just in front of you. Pro tips, okay, check this out. If the ball goes behind you, that means that you came up too early. So if the ball does this, it goes back there, that means I came up too early before the ball got high enough. If the ball goes too far in front of you, that means you came up too late. We want to do this so that the ball comes directly up in front of us. We want to time it so that when the ball is at the back of our head, we flick up. And all I want you to do is flip that ball up, catch it with your hands, and reset. You're going to try to do that 10 times on your own. Ready? Go. So make sure you have control of the next stall first. Nice. Good job. Then you're going to bend at the waist and tilt that chin down a little bit. As soon as the ball gets to the back of your head, you're snapping that neck up and you're coming up at the waist. Good job, Jake. Good, Paduzzi fire is hitting the combo. Nice job. Good. The V trag. Okay, we're coming up early. Try to take your time, okay? So let that ball go up the back of your head a little bit longer before you snap up, okay? So wait a little bit longer. Go ahead. Down. Almost, almost. Try to make that in one motion. There you go, that's better. So you see the ball is going out to the side. That means the ball is rolling up to one side. Okay, try to make sure that the ball rolls straight up when you bend forward. Keep working on this, 30 seconds. Seeing most of us do it pretty well. Good try, Tariq. Nice, there you go, place it there, place it. There you go. Nice, that's a good one, that's a good one, good job. All right, last try here on the next flick up, the next stall flick up. And we're gonna move on to the next part. All right, and time, bring it in. Now this is gonna be a difficult part, and it can be a little bit risky, uh, if you don't have good wrists, all right, we're going to go from a standing position to a seated position, catching that ball. Some of us did it already. Okay. We're going to do it without the ball first, that way we don't hurt ourselves. We're just going to mimic the motion. Okay. And as soon as I get to the standing position, I'm going to put one foot forward, second foot forward, while I put my hands down to sit. Okay. You don't want to just try to like pop down, you might get hurt or bang our wrists. So we want to go down in the fluid motion. So quick, foot, foot, hands. We want to get into this position with our hands back and our feet on the ground and our butt on the ground. So on your own with me, okay, we're just going to do that three times. Ready? Quick up, sit down. Stand back up. You'll notice you have, you'll have a comfortable side. Mine is my right side. And down, flick up, sit down. Two. Last try. Bend down, flick up, sit down. 
Notice, even as I'm walking through without the ball, I'm looking up so that I have eye contact on the ball at all times. Now we're going to do this without the, the next ball flip up. We're just going to toss the ball and sit down. Our goal is to catch it either between our knees or between our feet. So it'll look like this. I'm doing the same exact motion. The only extra thing I have to do is concentrate on that ball. So on your own, catch the ball, transitioning to sit downs. Go ahead. As soon as you get to the ground, stand up and try it again so that I can help you. Again, we're sitting down first, then catching it, not the other way around. Again, once you sit down, stand up and try again so I can make sure everyone's gotten it. Nice, Tariq, good job. Nice. So Gabrielle just did something really cool. She stayed sitting down and tossed the ball up just to practice catching it between her legs. That was really smart. So you can always break up these tricks down into multiple steps so that way you can learn easier. A couple more tries. Once you feel confident, you can start combining those two together. You can go from the next stall, flick up, sit down, and catch all together. All right, last try on this, and then we're going to move on. Again, this is the most difficult sequence in the combo, the most difficult trick that we're doing today. So if you're not able to get this sequence, no big deal. Good try, Shauna. <laughs> Again, be careful on your way down to the floor, especially if you're on concrete. All right, and time. Come on back in. So now once we're in the seated position, we're just going to do a couple simple things, a couple touches. This is a good opportunity where you can do something that's comfortable for you. I'm going to do uh, just a simple juggle and a crossover. Okay, so the crossover trick that I'm doing looks like this. Very simple, I'm just going to toss the ball up. As the ball is in the air, I'm going to cross my feet so that one foot is high and one foot's on the bottom. The bottom foot is going to have my laces top the ball. To finish, I just keep this leg going around, and then I catch the ball again or I juggle. I can use either foot, one foot high, one foot low. You can do any type of around the world here, any type of juggle here, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're going to finish this move by getting the ball between our heel and our butt. Okay? So you can do anything you want here. You can just roll the ball if you want. You can go straight into the heel and butt. Or you can do that crossover. Okay? To finish, we're putting the ball between our heel and our butt. You can use, you can use your hands if you're struggling. To finish in this position. On your own, sit down, crossover juggle, heel and butt. Go ahead. So go ahead on your own. We're working on doing a sit down juggle, a sit down crossover, or any of those movements that are comfortable for you. Again, we're finishing this part of the combo simply by getting it between our heel and our butt on our strong side. Nice, good job, Francisco. Make sure you keep working on attempt after attempt so that way I can see you're practicing and that way I can help you more. If you're not working on the skill, I'm not going to be able to help you. Good, Margarita. Nice sit-downs. Good job.
Good. So after a couple touches or a crossover or any move that you do, try to get that ball wedged between your heel and your butt on your strong side. And that's going to allow us to go into the next trick. Good, Oliver. You got it. Good job. Good. And if you're really struggling, you can always use your hands to just place it wherever you need to. This is freestyle, so we're just working on improving. All right. Perfect. Stay where you are if you can see me. If not, come closer. We're going to have the ball between our heel and our butt on our strong side, and we're going to learn to pop. A pop up looks like this. This is a really cool move to do to transition from a sit down to a standing or other movement. Okay. To do this pop-up, I'm going to start with the ball between my heel and my butt. My opposite leg is out straight. My weight is on my weak side. So if the ball is between my right leg, my left hand is on the ground. Okay. So all my weight is over here. This is going to allow me to shift my momentum to the right side. So step two, I'm going to roll over to the right side. So now my weight is on my right hand. And the ball is still between my right leg. I've moved my left leg over to the side. So one, two. Okay, I'll face away from you so you can see. One, two. One, two. Now step three is the hardest part. Step three, we're going to go from here and lift our body off the ground. Okay? So I need to bring my left foot in towards my knee, and I need to put weight here, push my hips up off the ground. One, two, three. From third position, all we're going to do is make sure that our knee is pointed at the ground. One, two, three. And as soon as my knee is pointed directly at the ground, I'm going to kick my leg out straight. One, two, three. Okay. All I'm doing is kicking that leg out straight, and that's going to pop the ball out from behind my leg. So on your own, do the pop. Go ahead, sit down position between the heel and the butt. Make sure you wedge the ball in there. As soon as you turn over and get those hips off the ground, I want you to kick that leg straight out, straight. Don't worry about your heel or bending your leg or anything, straight out. Like you're doing a karate kick or something. Good, Francisco. Bring that left leg over your knee. Francisco, bring that left leg over your knee. Almost. Make sure you have that, have that ball wedged firmly between your heel and your butt. Good, Tariq, go ahead, roll over. There you go, nice job. Really close. This is another hard trick. This is probably the second hardest trick that we're learning today. All right, a couple more tries. I'm going to go on my own and do it again in case you're struggling so you can watch it a few more times. Again, heel and butt is wedged firmly here. It's not up between my calf and my hamstring, heel and butt. Start on one side, opposite side to start. Roll over, knee points towards the ground, and I kick straight out. This is called the pop. Yes, Tatsuka, you have it. Kick that leg out, kick that leg, there you go, good. Yes, good Ash, good job. All right, good. Nice, Runar. That was it. Good job. Nice. I'm seeing a lot of us get it now. Great stuff, guys. Good adjustments. Good guy. Kick that leg. Kick that leg. There you go. Nice job. Rehab. Nice. You got it. Good job. All right. I've seen almost everyone get it, so come on back in. We're going to finish the last trick. 
Last trick coming up. This one's fun. This is one of my favorite little tricks to do. It's really easy to learn. Last trick is a butt bounce. Butt bounce looks like this. One more time. Okay. All I'm doing is I'm basically doing the same movement that I do for my thigh juggle, the same movement that I do for my shoulder juggle, except instead of using knees, I'm using this. Okay. To do the butt bounce, I'm going to start by tossing the ball just above one shoulder. So you'll have a comfortable side. My side is my right side. You might want to test out both sides to see which works better. I toss it up in the air to one side. I do not toss it behind me. I toss it behind me, I can't see it. I'm tossing it straight up, directly in front of me to one side. As that ball is in the air, I'm going to position my body so that my hips will be under the ball and I'm facing like 90 degrees from where I start. So if I started facing forward, I'm going to turn to one side so that my hips are under the ball. Then as the ball is coming down, you need to bend at the waist until the ball is going to hit your butt. And right before it does, you want to bend and pop. Okay, it's really silly, it's really funny, but if you time it right, you can hit the ball with your lower back or your butt. Okay? If the ball goes away from you, that means a couple things. If it goes over here, I might have hit it too early. If it goes over my head, I might have bent down too far. Okay. If it goes off to the side one way, I might be hitting it with my hip. I want to toss it straight up, put my hips under the ball, bend forward, and pop. Okay. On your own, butt bounce, let's do it. Last trick of the day. Last trick of the day. Do the butt bounce. Toss it up. Nice. So if you guys all follow me, you should have seen me do this into a basketball hoop. I kicked it up and I did a butt bounce and I switched it into a hoop. You guys can do this skill as a fun trick. Nice. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of us get it. Good job. Keep working on it. All right, a couple more tries, and then we're gonna build this combo. Nice, good job, Ash. So if it's just going out to the side and not really going anywhere, you're probably standing straight up and down and trying to hit it with your hip. Instead, get under the ball and bend it over to use your lower back and your butt. Last try on this. And time. Let's bring it in. We're going to do this combo. All right, so I'm going to stay back here so that we can kind of move through this. Um, so every time we go on to adding the next trick, if you need to, come to the screen so that you can see. If not, uh, if you can see me on the full screen, you can kind of stay where you are and keep going. So step one is the first trick. You can either do the pop-up, okay, or you can start with the stall. So this is trick number one. From trick number one, we're going into trick two, which is around the world. If you start with the stall, you're going into an around the world off the stall. If you can't do it directly in the air, you can use a bounce. If you use the pop-up, it's the same thing. You can just do it directly after the pop-up, or you can add an extra juggle or an extra bounce. Pop-up, juggle, bounce. So one, Two. Ready? Go. I'm going to watch you guys as you practice. So you're starting with a stall or a pop up, and then you're going straight into and around the world. You can use extra touches and extra bounces. Nice. Vivesh, good job. Good. Once you finish that sequence, go back and do it again for extra repetitions. That way I can see that everyone is progressing. Nice job, Tariq. So most of the tricks that we learned today are pretty easy, but once you start adding them together in a combo, it becomes much more difficult. So we need to practice over and over again. Good. 
So the main thing I'm concerned about right now is making sure that you just know the steps to the combo so that way you can practice on your own. So again, you start with a stall or a flick up, and then you're going into and around the world. Okay, wherever you are, freeze there and watch me. So now we have flick up, around the world, the next step is the knee catch. Okay? Again, you can use extra touches or bounces to get to the next trick. So if I start with a stall, it'll look like this stall. I might go around, I might juggle, let it bounce, and catch it. Okay? Any variations of that are fine. To do it with zero combo breaks, it'll look like this. Okay? So that'd be stall, around the world, knee catch. Or quick up, around the world, knee catch. That's the zero combo breaks. Or you can break it up into multiple parts. So one, two, juggle, three, catch. Okay, so now we're adding that third trick. Go ahead, make sure you're practicing. Stall, around the world, knee catch, or flick up, around the world, knee catch. Good, Devesh, good job. Good, Oliver, trying to take it to the next step. So if you're really confident and you know the steps of the combo, you can move on to the next step or try to do this sequence over and over again. Try to do stall around the world knee catch, stall around the world knee catch. So that way you can master that part of the combo. Good, Francisco, nearly had it, good job. Good, Tariq. Try to go from that to the nice, you got it, good job. Good, Maurice, let me see it. Nice, that's a cool flick up too, I like that. Around the world. Last try here, and then we'll move on to the next step. Oh, Shawnee, you hit your camera. Good, reset it, reset it, there you go. All right, freeze wherever you are, we're moving on. This part's really easy, okay? So we started with the stall, we go stall, around the world, knee catch from here, we're just catching it between our feet. Okay? So from our knees, to between our feet. Knees to feet. Remember, I put it between my knees, not too far in front of me, it should be directly between my legs. I stand on one leg, I let go, and then I bring it back in the catch. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah? If this is easy and you got this, which it should be, you can move on to that slap to get the ball out. Try to catch the end of that so that we know we got to step five. So I do one, one, two, three, four, five. We have half our combo now. Keep trying it multiple times. Stall around the world knee catch. Nice, good job, Paduzzi, good. Lift it up, perfect. Next stall, there you go. Can you transition? Yes. Can you do a crossover? Yes. Between. Okay, go ahead, finish the combo, finish. Hop up. Ah, you nearly had the whole thing. So foot stall, around the world, knee catch, feet catch, and then flick it back up. Good, Sydney, nice job. Keep working, keep working. All right, freeze wherever you are. A lot of us were able to add those two simple steps. Now we're adding the hard part of the combo, which is getting it to the net. So there's a couple ways that I want you to choose to move on to this step. Some of us are advanced and we can get it there. Some of us might have to slow it down a little bit. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, we're here. You can either stall the ball on your foot and go to the next stall. You can tap the ball up to your hands and place it in the next stall. Okay, or you can tap the ball straight up and try to catch it on your neck from that touch. Of course, you can add extra touches and bounces from here if you need to. So if you need to add something extra here before you can get it up so that you have control, that's fine too. You can also pop the ball up and then catch it on your neck by using your hands for help. Remember, for the next stall, we want to get a flat back, bending at the waist, our elbows go back, and our chin goes up. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We should finish here. We're working on six tricks combined together. Stall around the world, knee catch, feet catch, flick up, then next stall. Good, Renar, there you go, between the feet. Good, flick it up. Now can you get it to the neck? Good, Maurice, nice. Killed it, good job. Keep working, everyone. 30 seconds and we're moving on to the last section of the combo. more seconds. Try to do the sequence one more time. Try to do the sequence one more time. So whatever you were working on, try to do it once more. All right, and freeze there. So now we're going to do the last half of the combo on its own. So that way we can kind of break it up and make sure that we have the different sections of it before we do the whole thing. So this time I want everyone to start from the next stall position. Okay. Starting from here, we're gonna to transition to that sit down. Like that, okay? So we're gonna kind of restart at a new step one, which is next stall, the sit down. That's all I want us to work on. Once you have it in the sit down, go ahead into a couple juggles or a trick. Whatever is comfortable there, and we're gonna finish Again, with that ball between our heel and our butt. So, starting from the next ball, transition, simple move, heel and butt. Go ahead on your own. All I want you to work on right now. Good, Ash. Nice job. Get the pop up as well. Nice. Good, Jake. Good. Again, try to get multiple repetitions so that I can help you. As soon as you flick that ball up, go into a seated position and try to keep the ball between your feet. Good, Paduzzi is just crushing this whole combo. Nice job. Thirty more seconds. Again, we're just finishing here with that ball between our heel and our butt. <laughs> if you make a mistake, no big deal. I make mistakes all of the time. Just reset and try it again. Last try here. Try to do the sequence one more time. Next stall, flick up, sit down, catch, and then finish with the ball between your heel and your butt before you move on. Last try, last try. Good, and freeze where you are. Let's finish this combo out and then we'll put the whole thing together. We're going to finish by starting from this top position. So instead of doing the next ball, I just want you to start from here, heel and butt. Okay, one side, opposite side to start. So it's on my right. I start on my left, roll to my right, knee is facing the ground, kick the ball up. Once you kick the ball up, I want you to try to stand up and retrieve the ball as fast as possible. Ideally, I'm popping the ball straight up so it comes straight down. 
If it goes off to the side, that's what might happen. I just want you to quickly get to your feet and get possession. Heel and butt, opposite side, roll, pop, catch. Go ahead. So just kind of redoing the pop trick. Good, Tatsuku, there you go. And catch it, and catch it, good job. Yes, Johan, do it again. Good, Connor. So Connor, notice that that ball is going away from me diagonally. That means that my knee is probably pointed diagonally at the ground, right? So if my knee is pointed straight up, the back of my knee is pointed straight up, then the ball will go straight up. Keep trying the pop-up. Good, good Umar, try again. Try to stay in that lying position until the ball is up in the air. So I saw Umar, you're trying to stand up like this before you pop it up. Pop it up first, and then stand up back. Nice Margarita, good job. One or two more tries on this. Last try, last try. Good, and time, freeze there. So now from that pop-up, we're just gonna go to finish with the butt bounce. So again, we're starting from this pop-up position. Roll, pop. And we wanna regain control. We can use a stall. We can use a juggle to get the ball up in the air and do the butt bounce. Again, for the butt bounce, I want the ball up in the air to one side. Step two, position my hips underneath the ball. Step three, bend down and make contact with the back of my lower back using a pop-up, bending the knees. Okay. Together, roll, pop, tap, butt bounce. You can catch it at the end, that's amazing. Go ahead on your own, pop up, regain control, and do the butt bounce. Nice, Ramar. Go ahead, throw it up, throw it up. Nice, got it. Let's go, Tariq. Hey, pop it up, pop it up. Good, Edwin, good, Edwin. Once you regain control, try to do that butt bounce. Yes, Francisco, you got it. Good, keep working everyone. All right, and time. Come on and bring it into the screen so that you can see. I'm gonna go through the full combo one more time and then we're gonna do the whole thing together. So I'm going to review each trick. The first trick we learned, a uh, basic flick up pop. Or the ankle stall. So either one of these is our starting position. Trick two, around the world. Trick three, knee catch. Trick four, foot catch. Trick five, flick up for a half slap. Trick six, next stall. Trick seven, transition. Trick eight, sit down, juggle or crossover. Trick, what is it, eight, nine, pop up. And trick 10, butt bounce. Okay, all together a little bit faster. I'm going to start with the stall since it's easier. Hey. Okay, so that was with limited combo breaks, or you can break up the whole combo into individual parts. And you can use boxes.
That's, that's our whole combo for today's session. Now we're gonna have a few minutes. You're gonna go on your own. I'm gonna try to help you individually on parts of the combo that you might be struggling with. All right, we're working, we're working. Who can get the whole combo? All right, I'm watching Paduzzi. Paduzzi has done the best combo so far. I wanna see if he can finish this out. Pop it up. Good. Hasn't dropped it yet, but bounce. Catch it, yeah, nice. All right, so we have one player who did the entire combo without a mistake, that's amazing. If you're able to get five tricks today out of the 10, amazing job. Yes, Sky, get that around the world after the stall. Doo Mark, keep working. So we're working on our full combo, ankle stall or pop up, around the world, knee catch, feet catch, half slap, neck stall, transition to sit down, then to a pop up, then to a butt bounce. Yes, Bernard, great job, keep working. Want to see that whole combo. Good job, Samir. Nice around the world. Good, Tariq. Keep trying, keep trying. So if you're not able to land the whole combo, no big deal. It's pretty complicated. There's a lot of tricks involved, but if you can get parts of it or the whole thing, amazing work. Yes, Shauna, nice flick up. <laughs> Don't break your ceiling, Ash. <laughs> Again, I'm not responsible for any damages that are maintained by you in your home or in your space. Nice job, Johan. Catch it. Oh, good try. So remember, Johan, I don't want to try to jump to that ball or use both legs. I want to try to step and then catch. Okay? So as soon as I pop that ball up, I step with one leg so it meets the inside, and then I catch it with the other leg. Keep working, everyone. Yes, V-Track, nice job. Good half slap. Good, Samir, nearly. So, Samir, that sweatshirt, if you have a hoodie, it might be messing you up a little bit, okay? So you can put that hood up or you can change the sweatshirt and that way there won't be a pad here that'll mess up that next stall. There you go. That should make it a little bit easier. Yes, Maurice, keep trying, get that pop. Good, Edwin, nice half slap. Can you get the next stall? Oh! Edwin, are you okay? You good? All right, keep trying, keep trying. Good, Runar, good work. If you do get stuck and like really stuck and struggling with any one trick, you can always just take that trick out of the combo and do the combo without that trick in it. So if you're really couldn't getting caught up on like the knee catch, you can just go right to the feet catch. If you're getting really caught up on the pop-up, you could just stand up instead. One more minute to work on this. Let me see your best combo. This is the time, let me see your best combo. I got everyone on the screen. Last attempt. Give me your best combo, last attempt.
I'm doing a little selfie here. We're in a freestyle Zoom session. We got a bunch of people from all kinds of countries joining our Zoom. Everyone's finishing the combo. Almost everyone has landed every single trick, and now we're putting them all together. These guys are killing it. All right, and time, and time. Bring it in, bring it in. Hey, give yourselves a nice loud clap for yourself. Okay, great job. Give yourself that pat on the back, that clap. Okay, who was able, raise your hand if you got at least one trick. Everyone's hands should be up. I saw everyone get at least one trick. Raise your hand if you got at least two tricks. Raise your hand if you're able to do three. Who could do four? Keep your hand up if you could do four. Keep your hand up if you're able to land five of the tricks. Put your hand up if you're able to do five of the tricks, five or more of the tricks. So we got at least half of our session today. We're able to land at least five of the 10 tricks, which is amazing. So great job. Thank you guys for joining me. I did, you can put your hands down. I did mute everyone's, um, I did mute everyone's video today just because I thought there were actually gonna be hundreds of people in here. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone could hear me clearly. Um, but in my Monday session that I'll be doing, it'll be limited to 24 players, okay? And I'll have everyone sound on so that I can work with you more one-on-one -on -one and hear you in your questions. So that way, if you're struggling with a part, you would be able to message me and then I could talk to you on the screen. Today, we didn't do that, but on Monday, we will. On Monday, it's only open to 24 players. So if you wanna be on screen for Monday, I need you to send me a video of you trying this combo or post it to your story and tag me. That way I'll know that you're trying to get into Monday's session. Okay, Monday's session will be at about 5 p.m. Eastern time, uh, and you might have to do a conversion depending on where you are in the world. Raise your hand if you had fun today. Nice, everyone's hands are up. Raise your hand if you felt like you worked really hard at this. And raise your hand if you felt like you improved even a little bit during that session. Awesome, so that's the only thing that I am concerned about. If you had fun, you worked hard, and you improved. If you did all three of those things, give yourself a huge pat on the back, okay? And then send me or post one of those videos to get into Monday's session. Okay, great job, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me and training with me. I hope to see you on Monday. If you don't get the invite, no big deal. There will be 100 um, viewing spots available, so you won't be on screen, but I'll have 100 spots open so that you can follow along and do the session.